Welcome to Blue Blue's Art World Channel. My name is Opayemi Richard Sinawebo, and you're welcome to Blue Blue's Art World Channel again. Okay, so if you're an existing subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. Your presence here sure do mean a lot to me. And if you're new here, I'm super excited to have you here. You sure do like my glasses, right? Beautiful. So this is what we're creating today. My lovelies, are you ready? Show sure you're all sitting with your materials. Get in here. Mommies and daddies, you're also welcome. Okay, let's create. Crayons, wax crayons, markers, felt markers, sunglasses templates, that's the frame, transparent film for the lenses, the tempos, pen templates, here you have the sieve. Let's pattern the frame template of the glasses. So you can use any, any, any pattern you like. So we are using the circles here. So you can go for any shape. You can go for the star. You can go for a flower, depending on what you want to create, depending on what you want your glasses to look like. In fact, you can go for the pirate pattern. So you can go for as, as um, you just explore your imagination. Now we're done with the patterning. Now it's time to color. So let's color. So we're using a blue here. So you color all the um, shapes or motif you have used to pattern the frame. So we color all the motifs. And then now make sure, remember, color neatly make sure you cover properly you color properly so if you want everything to be blue like we have here make sure you cover everything the blue don't leave some parts partly painted uh, colored and some parts on color uh, uh, um, some parts uncolored now we are done remember having your colors to contrast each other so now we've used the blue color that is a cool color now we're using an orange which is a warm color remember cool colors are dull colors while warm colors are bright colors so you can see the the, the orange is um, so bright so it's not making um, the frame of the glasses it's not making it look dull with the blue that we used so the blue and orange works perfectly they in fact on the color wheel they, um, they are opposite each other on the color wheel. So on the color wheel, they are opposite each other on the color wheel. Okay. So now we are done coloring. We color smoothly. So now we are done coloring. Okay. Awesome. So now we need to color the temples. Now that your temple, the temple is what makes the the glasses functional now is that part of the glasses that makes it functional imagine you have the frame of your glasses with the lenses and no temples now temples are what uh, a lot of uh, people call ando but it is actually not ando it is called temples so the temples we call it the temples we color the two temples remember we have two because you have two hairs so we color the two temples now we, we we're coloring it the same color as the background of the frame which is orange you can also decide to make it the color of the motif that's the pattern which is blue so we are done remember color your temples front and back so for color the temples front and black now crease through the gapped lines on the nose pad and the hinges so crease through the gapped lines on the nose pad and the hinges and then you fold you can see the way it's being folded so you fold gently you fold it gently now the nose pads exactly you know what they are for for the nose pad parts now to balance the glasses on the nose that's the frame on the nose and then the hinges is to join the temples to the frame so now you do the same to the other templates now there are two templates remember there is you have one that is patterned and colored and then you have the other one that is not colored 
nor pattern so now that is the one you're going to join to the back of the colored frame so you do the same thing crease the gut lines on it fold the the edges and the nose part the nose pad parts so now when you're done you can see the way it's going to be joined so you are going to be gluing it to the back so but before then we need to fix the lenses so pick up your films and then you are going to fix it so check it to be sure it fits no now how do you cut your lenses you can just easily place your frame on the transparent film mark the space for the lens definitely and then remove the frame then give um, excess spaces around the marks um, what you marked and then you cut out so that way it fits on the frame so you don't have it falling through the hole and then you don't have it going out the frame so now apply apply glue apply glue now just a little glue so that um, it's not running to the film if um, you definitely don't want glue on your lenses so you apply your glue allow it to dry a bit and then you fix the lenses so now gently do that so remember so that the glue doesn't stain the lenses so now you paste the second lens and then you do that gently run your finger around it to make sure it's stuck properly now you can see give it some time to dry a bit and you see it's stuck to the frame now it's time to glue the other frame to the back apply glue and then um, now you apply the glue slightly on the frame and then on the lens that's the tip of the lens that is on the frame now don't um, apply glue on the hinges. Apply your glue around the frame and the nose pads, but leave the hinges out. So allow it to, allow to dry a bit and then glue together. So now you glue together. Now when you're gluing together, make sure you press the frames together properly. You do it gently, but properly. And then press the nose pads remember leave the hinges out for now so pressing those pads together press together gently making sure that um, the two frames are stuck together now remember this the two frames getting stuck together is also what is going to be holding um, the lenses together more so you press it down press together gently and leave to dry so now when it's done you can see it's ready now the hinges are not um, stuck together so the hinges on the on the colored um, frame and on the uncolored frame now it's time to fix the temples now you apply glue on your hinges you can do on one part and then on the other part so but it's important you have it on both sides of the hinges so now when you're done doing that you fix the temples now it's time to fix the temples you fix the temples all together you can see why it is important that you apply glue on both sides because you have the temp the you, you have the hinges on top and under the temples each temple so now you're done you leave it to dry and the glasses is ready now you can see it's so easy to press down the hinges to press down the temples of the glasses that is to fold now you can see the nose pads they are well done so which makes it so easy for you to use your glasses now you can see it can even easily stay flat on a surface now it looks so very nice right wow sure the creation was awesome we sure did enjoy ourselves right hope it wasn't too hard for you to get okay so don't forget as always my lovelies you make your creations and then you send to the email in the descriptions also you can print templates from the link in the description okay so don't forget take your pictures with style so you can have your take your pictures with your glasses this way 
you can take your pictures with your glasses this way make sure you take it with style now remember your glasses can serve so many function is it a birthday party or you're going to the beach okay so let's have fun have fun creating your glasses and i'm expecting to see beautiful pictures bye